Hello, I'm Christina with The Turned Leg. I love to salvage, repurpose, and create and help others to do the same. I'm also a furniture artist and I love to paint really big pieces. I even love to paint walls. But I'm not so good at painting little details like flowers. And I don't think right now I'm ready to be a canvas artist, but I'm always looking for ways to expand what I know. And I found a little trick I thought I would share with you how to grow as a canvas artist, but to kind of have training wheels still on. I like to use my JRV stencils as a template. And then once I have that down, I hand paint over it. I want to show you where some of the inspiration has come from my most recent design and show you what I've been working on. If you want to start painting more on your own, but don't know where to start, this might be the perfect opportunity. What inspired me for this project? Well, it was kind of the perfect creative storm. I really am learning to listen to myself and listen to things that I'm enjoying, that spark creativity in me and follow my heart. I recently went on a trip to get all of our Easter baked goods down to Hamtramck, Michigan. You may know Hamtramck, Michigan for its annual punchkis. The new Palace Bakery in Hamtramck is very popular on Fat Tuesday for their punchkis, but they have amazing treats all year long. While we were there, we also popped in to the Hamtramck Polish Cultural Center and I was so inspired by all of the folk painted eggs and colors and patterns that I saw. I also had been recently working on this curbside treasure chair that I found and bringing it back to life when all of a sudden the chair took a whole different direction. When I first painted the chair white milk paint I had horrible bleed through issue so I decided to add some green milk paint over the top and then I thought it needed a little something else. I grabbed my JRV Folklorico stencil and my DIY paint and I added this cute little folk art painting to it. This was so much fun, I knew I wanted to do more. Are you enjoying this video? If so, take a second, click that like button. Also, click the subscribe. If you click the bell, you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. All of this really helps me to continue to grow my channel to help others to salvage repurpose and create. For this project I decided to use two canvas art panels, my DIY paint. DIY paint is an all-natural clay-based water-based paint that works like no other paint around. I am also using the JRV Folklorico stencils. JRV stencils are five times thicker than normal stencils. That means they're made to be used over and over again. You also get much crisper stencils because of their thickness. I was really inspired by this hand-painted egg that I got at the Polish Art Center. To purchase any of the paint or products that I'm using here today, you can go to my website at shoptheturnedleg.com or you can shop in person at my booth at Plaza Antiques and Collectibles Mall in Lincoln Park, Michigan. I decided I wanted a two-toned background, so I'm using DIY paint in Old 57 and I'm using Mermaid Tail. I just add a little bit of water and smooth it on to get a blended paint finish. Once the paint is dry, it's time for the next step, and it's really quite simple. I grab my JRV stencil, I center it, tape it down, and I'm going to paint with the stencil using only White Swan DIY paint. This will provide the outline that I will later fill in when I hand paint. 
My favorite technique for stenciling lately has been to put just a little bit of paint on my brush, set it down, and kind of hula it, swirl it around without lifting up the brush. It provides a great coverage and it works nice and fast. Since I'm making two, I repeat everything on the next canvas. Once the paint on the stencil had dried, now it's time for the fun part. You can pick whatever colors you want for this project. For a list of the colors I used, take a look in the description box below. I like to use my Turquoise Iris Magic Brush Set to help me paint this. And I'm also using a technique where I'm picking up two colors on my brush at the same time. I put the darker kissing booth on one side and the cowgirl coral on the other side of the brush. That way when I paint, I get an instant highlight. And then I just continue to add colors. I play, I see what colors work. If the paint is not flowing, I add a little bit of water to my brush. DIY paint is heavily pigmented, so you can water down the paint and still get excellent coverage. This is where you just have fun. Now it's time to fill in the second stencil. And I learned a lot from the first one. I want to make these very similar, so I'm using the same colors. DIY paint lightens as it dries, so to bring back the rich color, you will need to seal the paint. For this project, I decided to use DIY Paint Big Top as my top coat. It has a little shine to it, and I think it'll be the perfect sealer. When you're using a top coat, it's a good idea to pour a little into a separate container to use. That way, you don't contaminate your original container of top coat. When you apply your top coat, you are going to brighten back up the colors. Don't worry, it won't stay that dark. It will lighten up a little bit as it dries. One coat of top coat is more than enough when you're sealing canvas work. I hope this video has inspired you how easy it is to use stencils as a template for kind of a jumping off point for freehand painting. I know this has really helped me a lot. It's kind of like an adult version of a coloring book, but you paint it. And it is not only obviously a relaxing thing to do, I think even children would have really good success with this technique, but while you're using it, you're learning so much about painting. I've been learning about brush strokes. I've been learning about color, which brush to use, how to add more water to get the paint flow. And all of these things I think are slowly helping me to build my skills as an artist. Now let's take a look at how my paintings turned out. Thanks so much for watching this video. Now get out there to salvage, repurpose, and create. And maybe stencil and paint.